Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on using the spreadsheet function to generate quadratic sequences. In this video we're going to use the spreadsheet mode to find the following terms using each rule for the nth term and we've got a selection of four terms that we need to find the first the second the tenth and the twentieth and then we've got three rules for nth terms that will generate the sequence. So let's start off with a n squared plus four now we need to access spreadsheet mode, so I'm gonna press menu, and then navigate to spreadsheet or press eight, press equals, and here we are in spreadsheet mode. The best way I found uh, to be able to generate the nth term is in columns, but first we need a column that represents the n value, i.e. the position of your terms. So basically the list going from one to, well, in this case, 20. So we need a list from 1 to 20. The maximum that uh, the column can go to on the spreadsheet mode is 45, but we're just going to set it to 20 so that we can do all three of these nth terms on one spreadsheet and it doesn't cause the calculator to run out of memory. The spreadsheet is relatively small so you can do so much with it but if you start dealing with large amounts of data it can run out of memory. So I'm going to start by just in the first cell that we've got here, A1, just inputting, well if we're going to just use the um, n values, well the first n value is 1 for the first term and I'm going to press equals. Now for all of the remaining values that are within this column, I'm going to use a formula. And it just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. And so to order to access the options, you just press option. And then we want option one, which is fill formula. And we can see that we've got two different criteria that we need to fill in. We're going to write the formula here on the top line. And notice how similar to Microsoft Excel, the formula starts with an equal sign. Now with n values, well, they go up in one each time. So the next value is two, then three, then four. So that's just literally the first term, which I will reference as the term that is in cell A1 plus one. And then what will happen is that this will be able to fill that formula in and it will just go down all the way down to the uh, 20th cell, so A20. So let's fill in that formula. So I'm going to input cell A1, so I need alpha and then A and then one. And then each time I'm just adding one, so it's just plus one equals, that's the formula. Now I need to get to set the range. Well, the first cell that I clicked in there was A2, so I want to keep that. Uh, but I'm just going to navigate right to change this to the last cell that I want to fill the formula in. And because I want 20 terms, that's going to be A20. So I'm just going to change that to 20 and press equals, check everything's okay and press equals again. Now I can see that the calculator has generated the n terms uh, that we're going to use as a reference to generate uh, three sequences here. And it should go all the way down to 20. Yeah, and then stop. And we can see here that the uh, calculator displays the formula that was used in each of the cells. Okay, uh, so I'm going to navigate to column B. Now in this column, I'm going to generate my sequence n squared plus four. I'm going to start off straight away with the formula. So I'm gonna press option and fill formula. And in the formula line, what I'm going to do is to copy out the nth term sequence, except where I have the n value, I'm going to write a one. So that is the first cell that contains an n value. So I would rewrite the formula in the calculator as alpha a one, and then that's squared, and then plus four. So I can see I've matched the formula up where there was an n, I've just substituted that for the first cell, in this case a1. Uh, so press equals, and then we want the range. Well, we want we started in cell b1, and we want to go all the way to b20, so I'm just going to change that to b20. Press equals, and equals to confirm. And then we can see that it's generated the sequence here. So we can find out the first term of five, second term of eight, and we can navigate down here. We can see all the terms in the sequence n squared plus four. So the 10th term is 104. And then finally, navigate down to the 20th, which is 404. So there we go, quite a quick way to generate the first 20 numbers of a sequence. I'm going to move to column C to generate the next sequence now, n squared plus n minus two. 
So again, I'm going to click options and fill formula. And I've got my equals again. So again, any instance of n, I'm going to substitute with the first value from the n column. So that's a1. So it's a1 squared plus alpha a1 minus 2. And press equals to confirm that. And again, I'm starting with cell C1. And I'm going to go to cell C20. Press equals, equals to confirm. And here we have the sequence again. Let's just double check that's correct. So the first term is 0. And the second term is 4. And again, we can examine the sequence as we scroll down. Tenth term is 108. And then navigate down to the bottom term that we've got there, 20th term is 418. Uh, so I'm going to navigate to column D now to do the last one. If you want to pause here, if you want to have a go at it yourself beforehand, but I'm going to start off by filling in the formula. I'm going to press option, fill formula. And again, any instances of n, I'm going to replace with a1. I'm going to start off with some brackets or parentheses. And then I've got an n value, so that's going to be a1 plus 3. Close brackets. And then a second bracket, we've got 2n, so that's 2a1 plus 1. And then close the brackets. Press equals to confirm. And then we want to go from cell d1 and again to cell d20. So Let's just change that. Press equals and then equals to confirm. And then in uh, column D, we've got our first term of 12, our second term of 25. Let's just navigate down to term 10, that's 273. And then lastly, term 20, which is 943. So there we go. A great way to use the spreadsheet mode to generate sequences so in this case the all three were quadratic sequences but you can do so for linear sequences as well a great way to explore the sequences and find out the different terms there and again the maximum value that you can go up to is 45 it's 45 rows uh, but the more that you do the more memory that's going to use up so you may not be able to get uh, four complete columns of 45 on there depending on how big your formulas and how much data you're using there but that's it for this video and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the calculator guide.